Hello beautiful people. Okay, I'm sat here on a Saturday. I've had a lovely morning just relaxing and just had a nice shower and just listening to beautiful music. So it's been a lovely day. <laughs> and um, today what I want to talk about is um, the law of attraction and um, synchronicity and flow. And um, I first found out about um, synchronicity and coincidence from reading The Celestine Prophecy, which is my favourite book. Probably I'd say it's my Bible. <laughs> um, I've read it so many times. And um, it's a really amazing book that this um, character goes on a journey and meets all of these amazing, inspiring people. Um, just at the right time and um, throughout the story it goes through a number of different insights um, about how we can evolve to be a more spiritual community and we can flow more with um, life naturally unfolding and to have the confidence to um, open up to people when synchronicity brings you to that person to let go of your um, your dramas that keep you apart from being able to interact with people who are on the same path as you as a, um, for a reason um, and I love that idea I think it's really beautiful um, and I still struggle a lot with that because um, I do have a lot of people that um, will come on my path very synchronistically so um, I'll keep seeing them around again and again um, but because I'm quite a shy person I find it quite hard to go up to someone and have the courage to say um, to say something that might sound a bit weird <laughs> um, but I'm slowly getting there usually um, I'll just say that I've seen them around quite a lot and we obviously are meant to interact for a reason otherwise we wouldn't keep bumping into each other um, and it's amazing what you can find out about people that um, you didn't know about so sometimes I'll know someone for a really long time and then suddenly because I bring up a subject they'll suddenly say um, oh yeah I had that experience as well and you'll get into a long conversation about it but you never would have thought that that person had the same experience as you so you wouldn't think to discuss that kind of thing um, and this happened the other day um, at uni with um, a lady that um, I just mentioned travelling to Peru and then suddenly she said oh I travelled to Peru and I lived there for a year and um, I climbed Machu Picchu so we suddenly had this big conversation that um, I just didn't know anything about this person really <laughs> so um it opens you up to the magic of life a little bit more and um in the celestian prophecy he talks about um control dramas which are these um sort of little manipulative tactics that we have um to um get attention and energy from other people and um it's quite funny because your ego wants to say, I don't do that. <laughs> um, but once you think about it, you you see what you do. Um, and once you're aware of that, it's very difficult to break into those patterns that you have with people. And especially certain people, you'll um, have a certain relationship with them in a way of interacting that you wouldn't have with another person. So... Um, for me, that definitely was the victim mentality, um, and that manifested a lot with um, with illness and being weak, and um, also a little bit with being very aloof from people, so putting a barrier between myself and others, um, and playing that sort of mysterious, unattainable role. <laughs> um, but it's really important to be able to be honest with yourself and say yep I do that <laughs> and be able to slowly break those down so that you can interact with people in a much more authentic and loving way 
Um, so I think it's really powerful to take a good long look at yourself and to um, break down those barriers a little bit more. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was my first experience of synchronicity. And, um, and then with the law of attraction is quite similar and that's about how your vibrational resonance and what you want, what you're thinking about and especially what you're feeling um, brings you into attraction with certain things and um, obviously the secret is a very um, very famous example of that that um, was released um, a while ago and um, yeah watching The Secret was um, really powerful for me and I started to see those patterns and those things manifesting into my life more and more and um, a big part of The Secret I think is taking responsibility for yourself rather than being the victim of these things come into my life and I have no control over it it's, it's again taking a bit of a hard look at yourself and saying oh yeah I did attract that um, even if it was very subtly sometimes um, <laughs> sometimes I'll, I'll say things um, that I want like unconditional love or um, um, I can't think of another example but there's some really funny ones I've done that um, I've attracted something into my life that I thought, oh, I'm not sure about that, or that didn't happen quite as I wanted it to. And then when you start to break it down, you think, oh, well, I did ask for that, so technically it was giving me that. <laughs> um, but the universe can be a little bit of a trickster with you, and it can play some funny little games with you to um, make you realise that you need to break down your intention even more and to pinpoint it to something that you want even more than that so <laughs> um so yeah once I started playing with the law of attraction and seeing what I could manifest um I manifested some pretty amazing things so um I did um one year I chose attraction as my um my word for the year and I did a lot of Law of Attraction work in that year and um, I went to quite a lot of groups and um, watched The Secret quite a lot and um, um, Abraham Hicks as well. I um, I watched a lot of um, Esther Hicks videos and all of that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, I manifested some quite amazing things like um, once I finished uni, um, I needed to find somewhere to live and I just thought oh I, I'm just gonna let it go to the universe and just see what happens and um, it'd be amazing to have freedom and to um, have space and beauty around me and uh, what I attracted was um, I ended up living at my mum's friend's flat for three years um, for free because um, it had been empty for 10 years or so and it was becoming very um, dilapidated and she um, needed someone there to look after the house really to um, make sure um, that there was no more damage done to it. So um, that was quite amazing really <laughs> uh, to tell people, oh yeah, I'm just living somewhere for free, it's all fine. <laughs> um, so I'm very, um, very, very grateful to her for that and how amazing really to have that experience just to give me the space to get back on my feet to decide where I wanted to go in life. Um, and at the same time as that I also had a lot of things like having tax rebates um, come back so I'd, um, I'd suddenly have £350 tax rebate out of nowhere. Um, and at the same time I'd also have what I found really interesting at the time was that I'd go back and forth so I'd manifest money but I'd then have my car break down and I'd then have to pay that money back out again. Um, but that money would then come back to me because someone else would then say, oh, I'll help you, um, I'll give you support if you need the money. So um, it's like a backwards push and pull, just um, playing with the universe to try and refine my vibration into a more harmonious place where I'm receiving and giving effortlessly. 
Um, so yeah, that was quite a fun way of getting into um, the law of attraction. And um, since then, it's really just become an everyday part of my life. I just um, everything that I see around me, I think in the back of my mind, how have I attracted this or um, if I want this, how do I manifest it? And um, the more I do that, it's become a lot more effortless. So at the start, I'd very much do um, like different tools and, um, um, and things that I do to try and manifest it. So I'd be like, I'm going to do a vision board because I want to manifest this. And I'd um, do like gratitude lists because I wanted to manifest. So it was more of a holding a bit of resistance in doing that because I'm trying to pull something towards me faster than it wants to come. Um, so the more I've let go into the flow and just focused on feeling good, feeling the best I can feel and being around things that um, make me feel better, um, everything that I want seems to very effortlessly come to me, which is, it is what the law of attraction is, that's what we're building towards. Um, but just those little tools and things are just introducing you in the first place um, to the law of attraction until it becomes such a part of your everyday life that you no longer need those because it just becomes who you are and how you interact with the universe. Um, so for me, I, um, I enjoy doing vision boards just because I love kind of beautiful pictures and beautiful things and when you um, spend the time gathering those things and putting it together, it's just, um, I just enjoy that as a process. And um, Pinterest.com as well, I really like because um, I just see things I find beautiful and I find that resonating with beauty and the feeling of that more powerful than if I'm thinking in my head logically about what I want to manifest and the specifics of it. So um, for me, just having that picture um, is a different vibration than logically trying to think about what you want. <clears throat> and um, that's manifested very beautifully for me because um, I became very obsessed with the Northern Lights and um, um, just gathering huge amounts of pictures just because I loved it. I just thought they were so incredibly beautiful. Um, and I started thinking to myself that I'd really like to see them this year. Um, so obviously I put that across but I didn't put any plans into place. I didn't quite know how I was going to manifest it or how I'd find the time to do it really. Um, but then my um, partner very lovingly is um, taking me to Iceland in a few weeks to see the Northern Lights. And um, he just um, surprised me with that. So that was quite an amazing shock. <laughs> um, and I think as well, when you, when you do manifest something beautiful, having that overwhelming gratitude um, for that coming into your life is a part of the process. So um, when I manifest something that makes my heart sing, I'll um, dance around the room and... Um, and like shriek and just get really excited like a little child um, and that's what we're here to do we're here to have fun and just to enjoy our lives and to just immerse ourselves in beauty and gratitude and um, that doesn't just mean um, focusing on your life and um, you know going on holidays and having beautiful things surrounding you it can be when you're in service and you're working very hard as well. Um, I work in a hospital and um, obviously it's quite full on, <laughs> as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, and I found that for me, once I started to um, use the law of attraction more, um, I started to manifest much more flowing shifts and my relationships with people were much more authentic. 
so um, it comes into my everyday life, even if I'm working very hard, it becomes much more harmonious no matter what I'm doing. So um, yeah, it's all fun and games. <laughs> um, so a couple of people that have really inspired me with the Law of Attraction are um, Summer McStravick is um, an American lady who um, she does a lot of work with um, manifesting through flow and manifesting through feelings and she um, brought out a book um, about the flow and um, she also does flow dreaming meditations um, on her website which um, are really powerful and um, I did a prosperity challenge which um, was when I actually manifested all of those things I was talking about where I manifested um, a lot of money in amazing situations very quickly. Um, so she's definitely someone to look into. She's a very inspiring lady and um, she has a podcast as well that's free um, to download as an app. So sometimes I'll listen to that when I'm doing the washing up and um, she just has a lovely, um, lovely personality that's just really lovely to listen to. And then um, another person that really inspires me um, is a man called Emmanuel Daga, or Daga, I'm sorry if it's wrong. <laughs> um, and he's just really amazing. Um, he comes up on my Facebook a lot and um, a lot of what he shares just gives me shivers. He's just um, a very authentic, um, unconditionally loving person. He has um, an amazing uh, presence to him, even just... Um, in everything that he shares and um, he does some talks um, on sort of out of the ordinary sh um, show and some other of those um, online shows like um, Manifesting um, with the Masters I think that is yeah um, and he's just um, released a book about prosperity um, so I would really recommend checking him out he's amazing and um, he's also an amazing singer as well, so um, I find him just really inspiring, really beautiful person. So um, there are a few of the people that really inspire me. And um, yeah, um, there's some sort of channeling masters as well, like Bashar and um, Esther Hicks, who I already mentioned, who um, listening to their videos is very powerful because they flow very quickly with the way that they talk and um, they're quite humorous in the way that they bring the message across as well so I really like that um, <clears throat> so I'm just like losing my voice a bit I have a little tea and I hope you like my carpet's really cute <laughs> my dad got me this <laughs> um, so um, so yeah, um, yeah, my birthday was quite an amazing manifesting experience. I also manifested a huge amount of money that I wasn't expecting from people. Um, I was so overwhelmed with gratitude that um, I started crying because everyone was just so um, so generous. It was amazing. Um, and um, it's not just the big things or um, money that comes into you. It's also the little things that you manifest um, that mean a lot to me so for me um, it's really silly but I really love sausage dogs I just think they're really cute and funny um, and once I started doing these um, kind of manifesting um, um, challenges um, I just decide sort of silly little challenges that were tiny that didn't really matter to me so I'd say okay I'm going to go out today and I'm going to see a sausage dog um, and then when I'd start seeing them, I just um, I just laugh because it was so funny, um, because I felt like the universe was playing with me, just having a laugh with me, um, and I just loved that, um, just that kind of co-creation. So whenever I see like a sausage dog now, I'll always just laugh and be like, oh, it's going to be a good day. <laughs> um, it's just such a silly little thing, but it just brings a bit more magic into my life, and. Um, I have a few other things like that that come into my life um, synchronistically that just tell me that I'm in the flow and that the universe is playing with me at the time. So seeing um, like triple numbers and I've been seeing 
all the time at the moment. Yesterday, I was constantly seeing um, 777, 2222, 1111, just constantly, all the time, pretty much on the hour or every couple of hours. So for me, that feels like sort of the angels are just giving me a little knock and just being like, yeah, we're here with you. And that's just, it's just lovely. I like that. Um, and songs as well, um, constantly giving me um, like messages and synchronicities all the time at the moment. So um, once you slow down and you're in the flow, you start to see the magic of life all around you and that you're constantly supported all the time. And it's just a really fun way to live your life, just a really effortless way to just let go of control a little bit and just be guided lovingly. So yeah, there's also um, <clears throat> like a green card that um, I see around a lot that's like my good luck charm as well because um, I just love that bright green colour. So whenever I see that around as well I'll be like oh yeah it's gonna be a good day I saw the green car again um, so yeah just choose a, a few little good luck charms that just you like and make you feel happy and then just see if the universe comes out to play and shows them to you and um, with um, like manifesting as well I'd really recommend doing things to let go like meditating and doing yoga where you s you actually completely let go of resistance because um, we're constantly getting into that asking for things, wanting things all the time. So we're pushing outwards our intentions into the universe. But we're not so good at taking the barrier down, releasing the resistance and letting flow bring it to us. So we try and pull things to us and by pulling things to us, they go further away. <laughs> so... Um, being able to let go of control and having patience that things will happen at the right time is really, really important. So, um, yeah, just allow yourself to really just let go and do maybe some yoga nidra meditation is really good because that gets you into a really deep state of relaxation. And um, going for walks as well is really good just to completely let go and just be in nature. Okay, so I've been talking for quite a while, just non-stop. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to... I've got some little angel cards down here. But, um... Let me get them out. They are guardian angel cards. And um, these used to be my nannies, and I only found them recently. I've never used them until about three months ago. And then um, I just had a little look at them and just the, mes the messages just really resonated with me. They're just really beautiful and simple. So I'm going to pick one for the day and share it with you. And we're going to bring some magic into our lives today. So I'm going to go for that one. And that couldn't be more hippie-ish if it possibly tried. <laughs> Rainbow! <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll read it to you. <laughs> it says, You are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love, and a pot of gold awaits beyond the horizon. All will clear soon. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that so much. <laughs> uh, sometimes you've got to take the piss out of yourself as a hippie, otherwise you'll get too up in the air and just be like, woo! <laughs> so sometimes you need to be like, yeah, I'm a bit of a, like, fluffy little hippie, but love it at the same time. So, <laughs> so I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And you manifest everything that your little heart desires because you're beautiful and you deserve everything that your heart desires and everything will come to you at the perfect time so just have patience and just nurture yourself and love yourself and know that you're worthy of it and um, everything that you manifest is just an extension of you it's just it's just a beautiful way of 
you creating more of who you are in the universe. So it's not about having that thing, it's about what it um, unfolds within you and how it expands you as a person. So the clothes that you want to wear, that you want to manifest, it's not just about being warm or being beautiful. It's about an extension of who you are and who you want to resonate and show to the world. So keep shining and being authentic and beautiful. (laughs) Okay, lots of love.